Part 2 of the classic game room review of Burnout Paradise. What really makes this game stand out is that in addition to the excellent gameplay, is that for an arcade racer, there's a tremendous variety of cars that all handle differently. When I normally think of an arcade style racer, I think of cars that handle like spaceships turned upside down sliding on glaciers. Not so in this game, they actually handle, sort of, like real cars. Kind of, in an arcade style, but the thing is they're all different. The van handles differently than the car that looks like the Ford GT40. And in that sense, they're consistent. There's about 79 different cars in the game. They're all really cool, they're all really different, they're all good for different jobs and different kinds of races. Whether you're doing stunt challenges or straight up speed competition or marked man races. And that gives the game more of a reason to finish, to collect all of the cars as you unlock them throughout the gameplay. And it gives the game higher replay value. Most of the vehicles come in a stock form, and then you can win an additional race that you then get a new model of that car that has higher boost or a different, uh, different handling characteristic. The thing is, while playing this game, and I've almost won the game by now, is that you find all these different cars and there really is subtle differences between them and that is very different from a traditional arcade style racer. You'd expect to find that in more of a simulation style game like Gran Turismo or Forza, but there is that attention to detail, that attention to subtle differences in each of the vehicles. And you can try all these different races and challenges over and over again with the different cars and see how you do. And also, it's just fun to smash things with the giant custom van. Or obliterate the marked man competition in the giant police car. That's my, it's probably my favorite car in the game. At least one of my favorites. I like the one with the big scorpion on the front of it, too. Sounds like an F1 car. Terrific sound design. Do you hear the tunnel? Here's one of the bikes. I immediately downloaded the bike add-on from Xbox Live. And the bikes are kind of neat. It didn't seem like there were that many of them. And I was a bit disappointed that you couldn't race in the car competitions with the bikes. But if you like motorcycles, they, uh, they handle pretty well in the game. More of an arcade style than a simulation game, of course. So your bike actually stays on the road no matter what you do, more or less. But it's pretty neat. They put a bike add-on for the bike guys out there or girls. Um, however, you did leave off the horse and buggy add-on. Come on. That was a bad joke, but just imagine if they put that in there. Trying to do the stunt competition while flipping a horse and buggy around in a barrel roll. That'd be pretty cool. You could get the uh, six or eight horse team in the armor-plated Conestoga wagon. It would be like Oregon Trail, except without the nuisance of reading and education. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, look that one up. 